NASA has just found the most horrible planet in the known universe. Astronomers have discovered a mind-blowing discovery while utilizing the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Scientists have found a white dwarf known as G2938 in the constellation of Pisces that has been consuming the planets in its orbit. University of California astronomers have discovered that while stars can easily swallow up small planets like Earth, a super Jupiter planet colliding with one would produce a powerful shock wave that could cause the star to eject its entire atmosphere of extremely hot plasma into space. The cosmos is full of surprises. The once massive planets are being torn apart by the dead star's strong gravity, which is also converting them into hot, burning bits of plasma. However, not all planets are easily devoured by their host star. The torus-shaped cloud of cold gas and dust that surrounds the black hole is assumed to have funneled the gas cloud, giving it its elongated structure. The torus, which can be seen in the following three color X-ray photos as the lengthy white patch, has a mass of almost 5 million suns. According to radio observations, the torus stretches from a few light years away from the black hole out to around 300 light years. The process is so powerful that it has the potential to rip the star apart from within. When a planet collides with a star, the impact is so powerful that the planet shatter and gas and matter are sent into space. When the gas and matter are combined, a brand new planet can be created. But as they travel through space on their own, these abandoned planets frequently have to put up with difficult circumstances. How do such roving planets defy physics to suit their new environment in icy, deep space? Scientists are baffled by the existence of rogue planets, which were previously evicted from their natural orbits and now roam aimlessly across space. Numerous billions of them are thought to exist in the Milky Way alone. Since rogue planets don't emit any light of their own and aren't illuminated by a nearby star, they are hard to discover. Indirect methods like gravitational microlensing, in which a rogue planet's gravity magnifies the light from a background star when it passes in front of it, are used by astronomers to locate them. Other methods include direct infrared imaging or observing the effects that rogue planets have on nearby objects or debris disks. Rogue planets provide novel opportunities for interstellar travel. Because they are not tied to a star, they might be utilized as rest stops or refueling spots for upcoming intergalactic journeys. Since they don't have a star, they are also immune to the damaging radiation and solar winds that affect planets in star systems. Planets from young star systems, where protoplanets compete for construction materials, are more likely to become rogue planets, according to astronomers. When planets in these systems collide or circle too closely to one another, the larger planet will force the smaller one into outer space. However, even more ancient worlds can be abandoned. One or more planets may be ejected from their orbits as a result of a passing star or black hole upsetting the delicate equilibrium of an established planetary system. A dreadful destiny awaits a planet banished. Its surface cools to the temperature of deep space, minus 270 degrees Celsius, minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit, once it has left its star system. If the planet has liquid seas, the water freezes and becomes ice. There would be no seasons or cycle of day and night on such a world. However, Florida Institute of Technology professor Monos Vilingham thinks life may still be thriving on renegade worlds. How is it even doable? Imagine a planet like Earth that is rocky and mobile. Its core can continue to produce heat for billions of years. Any ice that could be present on the surface might be melted by this heat, creating bodies of water. This phenomenon has previously been seen on Earth, where researchers have found rivers and lakes with liquid water beneath the Antarctic ice, containing living mollusks, fish, and microorganisms. It's possible that similar life forms dwell beneath the ice on other worlds. And life may even exist on the surface of such a planet if it had a thick hydrogen atmosphere. A rogue world will prevent the heat from the core from escaping into free space if it is able to maintain its atmosphere. A huge moon, which normally orbits such planets, 
would also provide heat by gravitationally extending and compressing its neighbor. Although it is simply a possibility that such planets exist, NASA may soon be able to confirm their existence using extrasolar object interceptors. Compact radioisotope electric propulsion probes called extrasolar object interceptors are used. Interceptors will go to any rogue planets or other celestial bodies that enter our solar system, collect samples, and return to Earth. With this technique, a spacecraft may possibly overtake an extrasolar. This idea, nevertheless, could have arisen from the challenge of finding such planets in the faint light of their parent stars. The existence of a gas giant like GJ 3512b is even more unexpected given the limited amount of material in the disks of tiny stars, where these giants are thought to emerge from stellar debris. With the aid of the European Space Project Ariel and the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists seek to solve the riddles of these planets. It will launch in 2029 with an emphasis on extraterrestrial research.